So I wanted to do just a few of the word problem examples just to make sure that you had a chance to see that. Really, all of the math that I'm going to be doing is the same as in just the regular algebra. We just had the extra step of reading the word problem and making the equations, which is that standard one where we're writing equations to model situations. Okay, so let's look at this first one, number 14. A used bookstore started selling CDs and videos. In the first week, the store sold a combination of 40 CDs and videos. Notice right here that I know the total number of things sold, but I don't know how it broke down. I don't know if it was 20 CDs and 20 videos or 39 CDs and one video. And so thinking about what you don't know tells you what your variables can be. So I'm going to make sure to tell you that X is going to be the number of CDs, and then Y is going to be the number of videos. I know this is a little bit outdated. Believe it or not, when, we, when I was younger, we actually bought CDs and videos. These were things that we didn't just stream. Um, so when I read this first sentence, or the second sentence, about 40 CDs and videos, that would be X plus Y is 40. Because I don't know how that 40 splits up, but I know that the CDs and the videos make 40 together. And then the next sentence, they charged $4 per CD. So that's four times X and $6 per video, six times Y, and they sold $180 total. I gotta figure out the total number of CDs and videos. You could use either elimination or substitution to handle this problem, whatever one you want to do. I'm gonna use elimination because we've done that a little bit less in class. I'm gonna take this top equation and multiply it by four. And the reason I'm gonna multiply it by four is because that'll match up the number of X's. So I'm going to rewrite both my equations over here, multiplying the top equation by 4, keeping the bottom equation exactly as it was, and then subtracting those two equations from each other. If I do 4x minus 4x, it's gone. And if I do 6y minus 4y, it's 2y. And if I do 180 minus 160, it's 20. The difference between those two equations is 2y and 20. Dividing by 2, tells me that y is 10. y is 10. I can take that and plug it into any of the equations that I've used so far. The easiest equation is the x plus y equals 40. I'm going to replace the letter y with 10. Many of you probably are able to just do that in your head, but I'm going to be a good little algebra student and get x equals 30, 30, and 10. Double check, that really adds up to 40. And if you do 4 times 30, you get 120. 6 times 10, you get 60. 120 plus 60 is $180. So it works on both of the conditions, both the constraints I was given. Number 15. At the end of the football season, 31 Super Bowl games had been played with the current two leagues, AFC and NFC. The NFC won five more games than the AFC, determined the total number of wins by each conference. So here, you know, the question usually tells you, another way to know what your variables are, the question usually spells out for you what your variables are, the things you don't know. Whatever the question's asking for is the thing you don't know, that's what you're going to use your letters for. So we don't know the number of wins, so let's just say that X is the AFC wins, and that Y is the NFC wins. And we know two things. We know 31 games have been played, and it was either AFC or NFC, so X plus Y is 31. And then the next sentence, the NFC won five more games than the AFC. So I'm using the letter Y for NFC. The NFC won five more games than the AFC. So I think AFC plus five would be NFC. Yeah, that makes sense. The NFC won five more, so Y is bigger than X. This one looks like a, a substitution problem to me. You could use elimination if you want. I'm going to use substitution. I'm going to replace the letter Y with X plus 5. So now I have X plus Y, and I'm replacing it with X plus 5. Those parentheses are, are not strictly necessary, but a lot of times when we substitute, we plug it in with parentheses x plus x plus 5 is really just saying 2x plus 5. Solve this just like you've solved so many equations already in your life. Subtract 5, divide by 2, so it looks like x is 13. I know that y is x plus 5, 
So if I do 13 plus 5, then I get y is 18. And if you check, those two numbers do really add up to 31. So I know that the x, the AFC, 113 of them, of the Super Bowls, and the y, the NFC, 118. All right, last one. Number 16, the length of Sally's Garden is 4 meters greater than 3 times the width. The perimeter is 72. Find the dimensions of Sally's Garden. So we don't know the dimensions, so we don't know the length and the width. I'll just go ahead and use L and W on this problem. You could use X and Y if you want to. I'm going to take this first sentence. The length of Sally's Garden is, so is usually translates to equals when you write in a, a word problem. 4 meters greater than plus three times the width. I just read one word at a time. Uh, the is translates to equals. Sometimes people would read greater than and think of like the little symbol, the triangle symbol. But if you think about something is this much greater than this, that's, a, that's actually telling you an, an addition problem. So you got to think about in context, four meters greater than means four plus. The perimeter is 72. Just to remind everybody, if you have a rectangle, if we call this the length and the width, then you've also got a length on top and a width on the side. So your perimeter is, there's two lengths and two widths. And they told us the perimeter is 72. So I know that 72 is two lengths plus two widths. Ask yourself, substitution, elimination? I'm going to use substitution here because I have the letter L already isolated. So 72 is 2 times L plus 2W. Distribute, distribute. We end up with 72 equals 8 plus 6W. Get my face out of the way. Because I did 2 times 4, 2 times 3W, plus 2 more Ws. Combine your like terms. 72 is 8 plus 8W. Take away 8. Uh, what is that? 64? Yeah. So 64 is 8w. 8w. Divide by 8. 64 divided by 8 is 8. So 8 is w. And then it told me that L is 4 plus 3 times w. So that means L is 4 plus 3 times 8. 4 plus 24. L is 28, so now we know Sally's Garden is 28 by 8. Kind of long and skinny. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Happy to help out.